it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I am so excited because it's new sticker release day. Yay! Okay, so my goal is to do releases on Sundays. As far as when or whether this video goes up on Sunday is a completely different story. This is Saturday. I'm filming this on Saturday. I haven't even taken pictures of these yet, so the goal is to take all the pictures of these, get the listings up, and open on Sunday. Let's just say there's new releases. They're in the store. Whether <laughs> I don't know what day this video is going up, but they are there now. So let's go into the new stickers. There are literally 36, 35 sets of, ugh. there are 35 sheets of stickers that I have been working on and I am so excited to show them to you guys. So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to go over this set first. This is my Pantone 2016 set. I did a nail tutorial using Pantone colors. I filmed that tutorial at the very beginning of the year on like New Year's Day. The video didn't go up until like the beginning of February and I have actually been working on these stickers in January, but for whatever reason it took me forever to finish them and like get them out. So they're coming to you now and it's so ironic because I saw a bunch of people on Etsy have stickers for Pantone colors and I realized, oh shits. I like totally missed out on that like I should have posted these earlier but whatever I still love the colors and I didn't just do the rose quartz and serenity I also used accent colors that were recommended by the Pantone website that said they go well with these colors and so I felt like just doing two colors would be like too boring for me I like I like to have a lot of variety in my colors so I added these two like this darker brownie purpley shade and then like a lilac -y shade. They have names for them, but I didn't actually look those up. I only <laughs> looked up the Pantone colors. Okay, before we get started, I do want to mention something. Do you notice something about these stickers? They're shiny. Why? Because I am now offering glossy stickers. What? Yes, I'm so excited about it. They are so darn pretty, and sorry, there is dog hair on my stickers because I do have dogs. Anyway, so you can tell the difference up front. Like the shiny ones, you can see there's a glare from the light here, and then the matte ones are just straight matte. Also, I do want to mention that the glossy stickers, with every other shop that I've seen on Etsy, the glossy stickers tend to come out more vibrant. Can you tell with the colors? Like if you just look at the two colors, the glossy stickers are much more vibrant. Like they almost look like two different shades. But that's just the nature of the paper. Like every person who sells matte and glossy stickers, if you've ever watched their hauls and you've seen a side-by-side -side comparison, the colors are never going to be exact. Even Scribble Prints has some matte washi stickers and she'll print them in glossy and matte and they'll, they'll both be you know slightly off but that's just the nature of the paper like it's really hard for ink to take the exact same to paper quality that's why it's such a huge deal when you set up your printers to make sure that you select the right paper choice but anyway that being said I am offering glossy everything in my store is pictured as matte because it's easier and cheaper for me to create all of these sets print them out in matte and do all the pictures because if there's any errors and any problems with printing because when you're printing for the first time a new set or cutting for the first time there's te there tend to be like errors and so you don't want to waste that on your glossy paper and so I almost always will print on matte first do my test cuts test prints do all my pictures with my matte and then if I want to make glossy stickers for myself I'll make them for myself or if people order glossy then of course I'll print and cut in glossy Love them, very excited. So let's go ahead and talk about the kits. I only I only printed these two in glossy for this video. I didn't want to do the whole set because like I said, glossy paper is expensive. So I will only print them whenever you guys order them that way. I may make glossy stickers for myself later, but for now, for picture purposes and for the video, everything you're going to see from now on is going to be in matte. So Pantone kit. Very much like the February kit, I'm offering four kits per set. So the set is the Pantone 2016. The kits are how you actually purchase them. So let's break it down. The first four sheets is one kit. It's called the functional kit. The next kit are the decorative kits, two sheets. And then the last kit are the littles and icon kit. So you can buy all three 
or you can just buy one kit if you don't want decorative stickers, if you don't use littles, you don't have to buy them. That's the reason why I don't do them in one gigantic kit because for me personally, I was a white space person, meaning I never used decorative stickers. So for me, I didn't give a crap about the decorative stickers. And up until last week, I didn't use little things or icons. So really for me, I just really wanted functional stickers. So I sell my kits based on your preference. So if you are a white space person, then the functional kit is probably for you. If you don't like white space, then you might want to buy the decorative kit on top of that. And if you're into like the Andrea and um, Glam Planner, oh my gosh, I already spaced out on her name, then you might like the little things. Some people love the little things and the icons. So I'm giving you guys the options to buy them separately so that you can buy them based on how you like them. The prices average out the same. If you buy them in kits, each sheet, of matte stickers are $2.50 per sheet. I don't know of any other shop that sells them that cheap. I did a lot of research doing this and I also researched like ink and paper and shipping materials and I accounted for all of those costs and I can comfortably charge these in the kits at $2.50 per sheet. So essentially the functional kit is $10, decorative kit is five, and the littles and icons are five. So in total that's $20 for eight sheets at $2.50 a sheet. Now, let's say you don't want all this stuff and you want to buy them a la carte. They're all being charged at $3 a sheet. The reason why I'm charging an extra 50 cents per sheet is because when you print them separately and cut them separately and have to ship them separately, the cost and demand goes up because you have to waste more paper and more shipping and packaging materials. That's why whenever you buy things in bulk, the price tends to go down because you don't use up as much materials. So if you're ever wondering that and you're looking at shops and you're like, wait, why are they charging more for like one thing versus if I buy it in bulk, I get a huge savings. It's for material purposes. So if you, you can buy any of these sheets a la carte, they're in the a la carte section of my store. I do have the store split up by kits and sets, a la carte functional, a la carte decorative, and then, and this actually, the littles fall under functional. The decorative comes in the washies and stuff and anything else that are like this, where it's just like cute little stickers. Those are going to be in the decorative a la carte section. And then anything else that have like functional seat sheets or littles, they'll be in the functional a la carte. Otherwise, the kits are in the kit section. And then it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. I tried to make the, the Etsy store pretty simple. Anyway, this video is getting long. Let's move forward. So let's go over what's in the kit. So the functional sheets come with what the February kit came with. You get eight ombre heart checklist boxes. I did reformat the hearts so they're much bigger than they were in the last one. They're not huge because I don't like them to take up a lot of space because for me, I tend to write a lot in here. So I didn't want them too big, but I noticed they were quite small in the last kit, so I made them a little bit bigger. Then you get the same eight skinny heart checklists. Then seven to do, seven to day, seven little things. Yours will come blank. I use Mommy Log for mine own personally. These are customizable. Since they're print order, you can customize your header titles. Just make sure you tell me the quantity of each title. So if you want like four to do's, three to days, no little things, you want school or work, just like make sure to tell me the quantities that you want them in so I know how to format this. And of course you get your weekend banner and then eight page flags. The next section is the same as of February. You get eight half boxes and 16 quarter box appointment boxes. I use these as appointments or events. These mark like things in my in my planner if I want to like put down a meeting or a doctor's appointment, things like that. And then the last sheet in the functional set are the four sidebars and then the bottom bars. This whole thing was completely redone. The hydrate and reminders are the same. You still have the mo Monday through Sunday and you still have the reminders with the full white boxes. But the chores I changed to hearts instead of Monday through Sunday because people may not want to do chores on specific days. They just want a chores list for the week. So you can always write over that or you can customize it. These are also customizable. You can change the header. So if you want this to say school or work or fitness, and if you want this to say Monday through Sunday instead of hearts, or you want it to be completely open like the reminders box, just let me know what for you want, what kind of checklist style you want, and if you want boxes, or if you want hearts, like the hydrate hearts. Um, and then I did reformat the bottom ones. They obviously look different, but the size is also different. These are actually equivalent to half box boxes. 
Before, they were slightly taller, so they took up the whole bottom area, but I didn't really like that, so I shrunk them down. And I made them open white boxes with three heart checks. And so that is the new pattern for that guy. Moving on to the decorative. Um, these will change every week depending on what icons I decide to use. Um, you do get a bot two bottom washi, the glitter ones. I did change the format of the sheet in the February one. You also got an extra. It was taking up too much space. It was making the sheet too big and it was too hard to fit in the cellophane bags. So I got rid of that extra box and I just shifted this guy down and added my title here. But you still do get the same washi cuts, which were the two quarter boxes up top and then the half box. And again, two quarters here and a half box and then your bottom washi in glitter. Also, I printed this before I posted in the shop. So if you look in the shop, this ha the ones I have have like a fine glitter, but in the shop it's going to be more of a chunky glitter. So these two will actually match. They'll be the same color. And then you'll have a chunkier blue, a chunkier brown, and a chunkier like lilac color. But otherwise, the rest of this is the same in the shop. So these are the decorative sheets. This is new. I didn't release these with the first time I released the February kit, I added them after the fact with my second plan with me. But they are little things and icons, so you're gonna get um, meal, TV, film, camera, laptop, shipping truck, laundry, and a scribble heart for whatever. And then you get these um, icons. They're, they're just over half an inch right now, but I'm gonna reformat this so that they're slightly smaller and so that they actually fit the quarter icon appointment boxes so that you can just lay them right on top of there and they'd be the same size. Because right now they're slightly bigger, but these icons are the same ones I had in the February kit. So that is it for the little things and icons. Moving on to St. Patrick's Day. This video is getting so long, I'm so sorry guys. Okay, the difference with the St. Patrick's Day is this guy right here. This is a deco sheet I created for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, there are hearts all over. I drew those on there because I just wanted to make sure this didn't get mixed up in the, the pile that I was selling. Um, this is going to be mine. I'm keeping this. I'm going to use this for a plan with me. You can purchase this guy for $2 or $2.50 if you want it in glossy. Right now, this is in matte. And again, all these are in matte. You can buy them all in glossy. Everything's Everything has an option for glossy. Um, again, same thing. Ombre heart checklist, eight of them. Again, same thing, eight skating pa page flags. Um, the to-do today, little things, and then blank. That's how they normally come. Again, customizable. The weekend header, I actually changed the font to white. I kind of like it in white better. Plus, when I try to print, when I tried to print it in black, it didn't show up on the dark green. It, it was just hidden inside of it, so I opted to go white, and I think it looks so much better. And then, of course, the eight page flags. Then, same thing, your eight half box appointments, and then quarter box appointments. And I do want to show you something real quick. I'm skipping forward. I reformatted the icon sheet, and I changed the icons. If you see, the ones in the Pantone set are just tiny, 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 tiny bit bigger than these. But the reason why I did that is because if you put this over a half a quarter box, these pink ones over the quarter box, it's slightly bigger. What I did was I reformatted it so that when you lay these little icons on top of the appointment box, they're the exact same height of each other. So for that reason, I was able to put an extra set of two icons. So instead of 10, you now get 11. No, what am I saying? Instead of uh, 20, there you go. I can count. Instead of getting 20, because I made them slightly smaller, I can actually squeeze 22 in here. And I changed the icons, meaning you're not going to get a TV anymore because you already get the TV and the little things. Um, I also removed uh, the birthday cake and I replaced it with the present. Um, I just changed some of these icons. So you still get a lot of the same icons. You still get the laptop, you still get the camera, the bills. I did add a dollar sign for like either bills or payday. Um, I felt like that was a little bit more useful. I removed the meal sticker since that's in the littles and I replaced it with a crock pot. So if you want to do like cooking or entertaining, you can use a crock pot instead of the meal sticker so you don't get the confusion. But like pretty much I just altered a few of the icons and I made them slightly smaller so you get a little bit more. It was too difficult to reformat this sheet, 
So I left the Pantone and the February kit where you get 20 of each color, but any kits moving forward will get 22 per color and these icons instead because now I also have an automobile in there and then like the cleaning lady things like that so I like these icons a little bit better and I like that I'm not duplicating them but that's a different kit let's squeeze that back there anyway appointment stickers so now they fit the quarter box appointment stickers yay moving forward then we've got our bottom bar again these are customizable the sidebar sorry the sidebar is customizable and then the bottom bar new format same size new hearts Moving on, this is the decorative sheet for St. Patrick's Day. We've got some clovers, some chevron, some plaid, check boxes, dots. And then we have the bottom washi, which I have it ombre style from the dark green to the gold. And then the washi again, as usual. They are cut in the middle, pretty much. Apparently I have a hard time folding these, but they are cut. So it's not one big box. There's actually three washi in here. And then again, same thing with the littles as before. Meal, TV, film, camera, laptop, shipping, laundry, hearts. And then the new icons, smaller size, but you get more. And that is it for the St. Patrick's Day. And then for the piece de resistance. And it's really not that crazy. It's just, I'm really excited because this is a stack of 24 sheets. No. 18. 18 sheets. I was going to print out 24, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. These are my multicolors. I sold multicolors in printables of primary and pastel. Well, I'm now going to sell them in print to order and I'm offering a third color set. Let's go into it. So the first three are the ombre heart checklist boxes. Again, each each sheet is three dollars and then you choose the color and then you can also choose the finish you can get these in glossy for 350 so we've got the primaries the pastels and then the bolds the bolds are my favorite because I really like really bold colors like darker deeper colors and so they all look very similar but they're slightly different as you can see like when you see the pastel by themselves are definitely pastel the primaries are like your regular rainbow colors. And then the bolds are slightly different. They're just darker, deeper, richer colors. So that's the Ombre Heart Checklist. That's one set that I'm offering. The next are to-do headers. So you, again, same thing, primary, pastel, bold. And then matching colors in today's stickers. Primary, pastel, bold. And then last but not least, little things. These are the primary three header styles that I have, little things. And then, you know, the, the today. And then the to-do. Like, these are ones that people use very commonly, so I made sure to make these three. If you guys think I should create other things like school, work, fitness, if you think that I should introduce other header styles, please let me know down below and we will create more header styles. But that is it for these primaries and pastel and bolts for that. But then I have two more things in the multicolor. We've got little things. Since you're only getting seven of each color, instead of doing four meal stickers or three TV boxes, you now get two meal stickers, one TV, one film, one laptop, one moving truck, and then the same heart that you get in the bottom box. For whatever reason, I feel like these printed better than the scribble hearts on these little things, so I changed that. And in the future, I'll probably change the little things on these sets to be the same heart because I just feel like it prints better. It looks much better on these colors. And then the last set are heart, skinny heart checklists. Um, I couldn't fit seven of each color onto the sheet. If I did that, I would have to sell these in doubles, which would double the cost. If you wanted ombre heart, or if you wanted heart checklist, you'd have to pay $6 to get every color. And so I just opted for four. And if you really, really want more, you can double the price. And plus, if you do that, it ends up matching up because then you get or you end up getting eight of each color and then the ombre heart checklist boxes come in sets of eight anyway so it actually works out better if you do it that way versus me offering seven and the reason why I said 24 last time is because I was gonna offer icon sheets the only problem with doing icon sheets which is why I didn't print them out and I actually wanted to ask you guys is because 
if I do the icon sheets like I did here, or actually they would be these guys here, you only get four colors in a sheet. So if you wanted to do all eight primary colors or all eight pastel or all eight bold, you'd have to get two sheets, which would be $6. Do you guys want me to offer that? You know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. I think those are the colors that I have um, for primary. Like, do, would you want to buy two sheets of just the icons? Or would you rather me create, like, a sheet of just laundry machines or just laundry baskets in multicolor or a sheet of airplanes for travel in multicolor or hearts or, you know, workout gear. Like, what would you rather see? Would you rather see a sheet with one icon in multiple colors or would you rather have multiple icons in multiple colors in two sheets for $6? So you tell me down below. Whatever you guys decide, whatever I hear about, I will do that in the next release. I'm already working on two sets for Easter, one set for April, and I'm also working on social media icons and some baby stickers because, as you guys know, I am pregnant. I am 22 weeks, and so I personally want to start tracking my pregnancy stuff. And so let me know what you guys want to hear or see or whatever because then I will create new stickers for that. I have been loving making stickers. Like, you guys have no idea how much fun it is for me to, like, make stickers. Like, I legit absolutely love 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 making stickers like I don't know what it is but the joy of printing stickers and like having them at my disposal is just I don't know it's just absolutely amazing I, I just find it so rewarding and exciting like to be able to do my own stickers and to be able to sell them to you guys like totally like makes me super happy like I really 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 enjoy making these for you guys so if you're ever like curious and have questions like please do not hesitate to ask because I legit have so much fun doing this like my husband's like are you working on stickers again I'm like yes sorry I love stickers like you don't understand I love my stickers so much it's just like ridiculously bad how much I love stickers so that being said that is it for this video this is probably my longest well it's probably not my longest planner related video but it is one of my longest because I usually do voiceovers I usually don't do all this crazy so anyway I'm gonna let you guys go make these look pretty so I can take a nice little picture for a thumbnail but that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my shop will be linked down below. If you guys want to check anything out, have any questions, make sure to leave them in the down bar or send me a message on Etsy if you guys want anything customized. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty.